Guten Tag, V Gates. This is a split personality Dieter, so you might hear, I don't know, a whole bunch of different, different stupid uh, sounds coming from this guy's voice here, uh, mouth of I me, mean, today. So, um, I, I have been, I know you've heard me, I don't mean to sound like a broken record, but I've been complaining uh, lately. I haven't put out too many new videos because uh, there's been ongoing construction now in my building for almost two years. It's driving me insane. Uh, it's still going on. Uh, hopefully, it'll be done by the spring. <laughs> spring. <laughs> so uh, I can go out on the balcony and, and do some more stuff. So I decided I'd like to keep in touch with y'all. So uh, uh, I'm gonna talk about a little more in depth about, you know, why are these dying bouchers why are they so good? Okay? And so I'm gonna, I've had this, um, I called the people, the good people at Boucher um, a while ago cause, uh, and gave them the serial number on my guitar because I wanted to find out what year it was actually made because I, I have no, no sense of time. So I think they told me mine was made in between 2007 and 2009. So it's a, uh, it's at least 14, 15 years old. And I didn't get the Torfide top. Uh, this is just one of my very minor pet peeves with Boucher. Uh, when I bought mine, you had an option. They called it, all their tops now are Torfide. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, but it's made them more expensive. And, uh, you know, your top will Torfide naturally with time. So, uh, you know. Uh, the nice thing about a non-torfied top, in my opinion, is uh, the top ages with you as you play it, so you can actually hear its really stellar tone improve. With a torfied top, the top is cooked, and that what you hear is what you get. It's excellent. Uh, that's what most people want their guitars to eventually sound like. But um, and Boucher does it right. Uh, they do it uh, with high pressure. You're basically cooking the top, though. Uh, your top, an untreated top, will torrefy over time as the uh, sugars dry out. That's what torrefication is. It becomes kind of like this uh, natural resin and makes the board stiffer and therefore, like a lot of people think, a torrefied top sounds better. If, if you know. So uh, that's a debate. But I mean, when I bought mine, you had the option, which I, still, I think they should get back to. I mean, you know, yeah, you can, well, you know, why not? I mean, uh, I like it because you see this, they, they, the other thing I like about Boucher, they, they don't color their, 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 their woods. So you see this, when I got it, it was beautiful pale white, and now it's getting a little yellow, but it's nice because like it ages with you, it grows up with you. That's what I like about a non-torrified top. And uh, this is probably half torrified by now because it's 13, 15 years old. Um, but, all right, lots of people can make a good guitar, and so I'm, I've had this guitar for a long time now, and it's, it's, it's stellar. Nothing, there has been no issues with it. It stays in tune. I, I, at one stage, I didn't play it for a year, and I took it out of the case. I swear to God, it was in tune. So, uh, I thought I'd just take the time to show you why I think they sound so good and are so good. Um, the only guitar, other guitar that I have, I mean, my go-downs are all very nice, but, but expensive, um, what I would say handmade, basically, uh, guitar is that's on a level comparable or equal to this, is my 2017 Breedlove Organ. So uh, the boys who, or boys and girls who put that together, you did a super job. That guitar is just as nice in fit and finish as this. I'll show it to you other some, sometime. But this thing is flawless. I, I, I took it to um, a shop, and uh, there was a, a luthier there. And he, he tried for about 45 minutes. He, he looked it over everything with a fine tooth comb, and he, he stuck a mirror in there with the lights. And he was amazed. He, is, he told me he has never seen a guitar so cleanly built with zero flaws inside, even, and out. He said, Never seen an inside of a guitar that was so flawlessly and meticulously put together. So, 
that's one thing. Uh, craftsmanship that is second to none. Look at the binding, it's maple binding. Uh, the wood selection, Ro Robin, Robin Boucher picks out every piece by himself. He's very fussy. This thing has a... Uh, I don't know if you can see it. The, the, woods, the woods are just incredible. The binding and the purfling is is first rate, the herringbone. One piece, a uh, Canadian maple neck, uh, sculpted, uh, goto tuners, uh, ebony fingerboard. I don't know where they get their frets. Um, but I just, uh, um, and the quality of the, their tops, Robin sells tops to, uh, other manufacturers. I don't know if he's still doing that, but up until recently he was. That's how they made most of their money before they've caught on, and it's nice that they've caught on. But all of his tops have bear claw and a beautiful grain and um, what they call corn silk. If you see a lot of corn silk in the top, that's a, that's a better quality top. and uh, You see it more on a torrified top. But, um, but if you look, were to look at my top, it's absolutely gorgeous. And the other thing they do is they have a very thin, uh, very, very thin finish. And they use Adirondack spruce for their bracing. Now, I don't know their bracing system, but uh, just an awesome sounding guitar. And I, I can't say enough about my beautiful Boucher here and uh, why I love it so much. So. Mine's a Studio Mahogany Goose. I think at the time they were $3,600. That was a long time ago. Uh, and not the gold top package. And um, my other videos, I told you before, I put an LR Bags M1 Passive in it. And it's got a Lyric. And hopefully I'll be able to get some practicing in. And uh, and they, I think it's abalone or mother of pearl uh, inlays they use. It had beautiful, I'm kind of a nut this way, because it had beautiful uh, ebony bridge pins with mother pearl inlay, but I, I just put the boxwood in for the contrast. You know, I have to dig out those other pins uh, sometime. But <laughs> definitely there was nothing wrong with the pins. And of course they, they have a bone nut and a bone saddle. But, uh, I mean, the the neck on this everything is sculpted. It, it it's it's honestly it, this guitar suits me so well. It, I don't think if I would would have had them make a custom dreadnought for me, it, 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 they couldn't have done a better job than the one I took out of out of the 12th fret in Toronto some 15 17 years ago. So, uh, damn. Gorgeous guitars, I've never heard a bad one, and this is, I, I told you in one of my other videos, five or six of the best sounding guitars I've ever heard. And this and two other uh, Boucher's 12 fret ones. And my breed love is up there, so, uh, yeah, in praise of uh, well-made guitars. So, I know they're pricey, but if you're in the market and you have the money for a Boucher, I guarantee you will not be disappointed. Um, uh, they're just impeccable. Anyway, y'all have a good day. Ciao.